I'm working on the carburetor on this Honda generator, and this is where it all went wrong for me. As I was taking the carburetor out, I got to this point, and I decided to take the this whole thing off by taking the two screws out the top. That was a mistake. There are two springs inside that are the bane of your existence if you do this. So my recommendation is that you pop these covers off and that you disconnect the wiring harness here and take the carburetor out with this black piece on top. You probably don't need, you probably don't need to be working on anything in here if you're just replacing the guts of the carburetor. So do yourself a favor and just leave this on. But if you did like I did and you need to put that all back together, I'm gonna to show you how to do that right now. This is what you're gonna end up with. You're gonna end up with this apart looking like this. Those two springs, hopefully you, you were careful when you took it apart, and this. Now this goes in here, in here. But there needs to be a spring in there and the spring fits on like that. So how the heck do you get that into that? Well, let me show you the trick. You remove this and you remove this. Making sure to pay attention, the Honda lines up with the key in. So it goes on like this. So you know that this one, the short one, goes on the left and the long arm goes on the right. And this indent here goes down toward the carburetor. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like put together. All right, so this is what it looks like ready to assemble. So now all you have to do is you have to line up the blades with the blades over there. And there you go. Then put your screws back in the top and put it all back together.